All right, everybody uh, out there in YouTube land and uh, on the UHU website, wanted to uh, show you guys the grow that I got going on. Uh, haven't been able to post any pictures. I'm having a problem with the website, uh, but we'll get that fixed. But I figured I'd go ahead and just do a video. Uh, so you can see I've divided my grow tent uh, with a sheet of mylar. Each side has a coaxial exhaust fan just to keep some air flowing. Uh, when the plants get a little bit bigger, I'll probably install one of these little mini fans on each side but for right now you can see that's a uh, Caribbean red seedling and that one there is a jalapeno gigante seedling and then I've got the exact same configuration over here uh, there's the Caribbean red and there's the jalapeno gigante once the jalapenos get a little bit bigger I'll put an insert around them like I did the Caribbean reds, they're just not big enough yet. You can see that uh, this side is the Sunshine System flow panels. Uh, this is their older model. It's not their newest model, so that's important for you guys to know. Um, you know, it's just what I had purchased previously, so that's why I'm using it. And then here are the HydroGrow LED 50-watt uh, penetrators. Um, you can see there's quite a contrast in the color of the lights. Um, I don't have any immediate way to measure the brightness really, so we're just going to see how the growing does. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear the Super Cropper 36 uh, going away. What I'll probably do is once the plants grow up a little bit, I won't have, uh, I'll maybe put a couple basils or something in there that can grow under low lighting conditions because I know that the peppers are going to shade out most of the light. You can see the water flowing in the Super Cropper, nice and aerated. Got our humidity temperature gauge here, and then I got my nutrient meter. Right now I'm at 6.0, see around uh, 790-800. The pump does heat up the nutrient solution a little bit when you use the, I'm using the 1000 gallon per hour pump, so it's a trade off if you want. You can stick frozen 2 liter bottles down in the water and cool it down. So it's going to be a pretty interesting grow. Hope you guys stay tuned.